Okay, so I'm not a baker, but um, I'm going to try making these vegan strawberry cupcakes. I found the recipe online at noracooks.com, and so I'll put a link to the recipe in the description. But I'm not I'm not a good baker. I'm barely a good cook, but I just I had a, a dream last night, and in the dream I was. Um, trying to make this strawberry cake and it was weird because it was like in the dream I could like taste what the cake tasted like and it was so good and I never got to make it though because I don't know like I know people talk about like in dreams they can't fight or they run really slow but something weird about my dreams is like if I ever have to dial a phone number um, I feel like I just can never dial the right number. Like there was some dream that I had where I was trying to dial 911 and I kept either dialing the wrong number or the button buttons wouldn't push. And I had the same thing happen in this dream because I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to make this strawberry cake. I know it's going to taste so good. And I was trying to like Google like strawberry cake recipes. And for whatever reason, it was the same thing as a phone number. I couldn't like type it in. Um and search it so in my dream I never <laughs> was able to find the recipe and I woke up and for whatever reason I was like okay this is the day I'm gonna make some strawberry cake this cake that I dreamed about um I did find on the website there was a recipe for a cake um but she also had this recipe for cupcakes and I thought cupcakes would be a little bit easier just because I do have a cupcake pan and I didn't have the right pans for the cake and it's basically the same pretty close to the same recipe for both so I'm gonna give it a try um I already went to Walmart and bought the ingredients and I even bought like a, a stand mixer because I think I'm living in my grandma's old house and I still have some of her like cooking supplies in there and I think she has a hand mixer but I don't know I just got a cheap stand mixer I got like the cheapest one at Walmart because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be good at baking and so yeah we'll see how it goes but I'll show you what I have prepped so far okay so I know this looks like a war zone but um the first step was I was supposed to use fresh strawberries but my Walmart didn't have fresh strawberries so I got some frozen strawberries and I pureed them in my food processor and then it it said to reduce it down so I had this on the stove for like 30 minutes, just reducing it and I made way too much. Um, and it kind of splattered everywhere while it was simmering. But so I've got this strawberry puree. While the puree was working, I went ahead and got all my ingredients measured out. So these are the ingredients for the batter. So I think that's cake flour sugar, soy milk, there's the puree, butter, vegan butter, um, baking soda, apple cider vinegar, vanilla, and a little bit of salt. And then there's also some separate ingredients for the frosting. So that is a ton of powdered sugar, a lot of butter, some more of the strawberry puree, and some vanilla extract. Okay, so this oven is literally from the 70s, I think, but it still works. Um, but I have this little temperature gauge inside because this isn't exactly accurate. Um, I'm supposed to preheat to 350, but I'm going to set it on 300 and check it. And it should be, I think it's about 50 degrees off. So I will check it here in a second. Okay, and here's my little pancake tin. And then I have these... Um, reusable little cupcake things. I'm just gonna spray these down with this <laughs> cooking spray I found in the in the cabinet and then it should be good to go. Okay so here's the instructions. So I prepared the oven and the pan. So first step combine the soy milk and the apple cider vinegar. So that is supposed to be a substitute for buttermilk, soy milk and apple cider vinegar. I didn't know that so I'm gonna do that instead of the side. And then I will try out this mixer here in a second. Okay, moving over to the counter. Um, so here's the little mixer I got. I hope it's big enough. Um, it was only like $30 at Walmart, so 
We'll see how it does, but the first step it says is to put in the butter and sugar and mix it together. And then you add in the rest of the wet ingredients and then we'll throw in the dry ingredients. So let me see about getting the butter and sugar in there and getting it mixed. Okay, I don't know, it looks pretty mixed to me, I guess. I guess it worked good enough. I've never used a stand mixer before. I kind of had to like help it along to spin a little bit, but I don't know, it looks good to me, I guess. Okay, I don't know. I put in the buttermilk and the vanilla and the strawberry puree. And this is how it's looking. So we'll go with the dry ingredients. Okay, so doesn't look as good on the video, but it's a nice pink color. Batter looks pretty good to me. Oh, I forgot I put in three dots of red, of pink food coloring. So I'll just divide it into these pans and pop them in the oven. All right, there we go. Now put it in the oven for 22 minutes. And while I do that, I will make the frosting. Okay, so I think that's done. Tastes really good because it's like all sugar. But I also got this, some of these bags and these little pipette things um, to try to make it fancy. So now I just gotta wait like 20 minutes for them to get done cooking and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I made a pretty big mess getting it into this um, piping thing, but I did. It's a huge mess, but I got it in there. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. I feel like the icing may be a little too runny, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try this tip right here, but I, I honestly feel like it's just gonna ooze out. <laughs> but it tastes good, so we will see how it goes. Okay, so they are done, and I don't know. I think they look pretty good so far. So now I've gotta let them cool off a lot so it won't melt the frosting even more than it already is. So I'll wait probably about, I don't know how long I'm supposed to wait, like 20 minutes to let them cool. And then I will try frosting. And in the meantime, I will start working on cleaning up this mess. That's one thing that I don't like about cooking is the cleaning up part, but I've got time to wait while those are cooling down. So I'll go ahead and get this part done. Okay, here we go. I think, they're pretty cool now. I may give them just a little bit longer, but I've got the stuff ready. We'll... I think it's, I think it's too runny, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the frosting was a disaster. It was totally runny. I think my problem was I over mixed it because I mixed it in my little stand mixer and I don't think I was supposed to like mix it that much, mix it that fast. I'm hoping, um, cause I did put a little bit of extra powdered sugar because it said in the recipe, if it's like too runny, you can add more powdered sugar. And I did put more, but it just wasn't getting firmed up enough. So I think next time I'll mix it by hand instead of with a mixer or I can just buy store bought. So I just kind of put it on each of them, I have a whole lot left because, you know, I guess if it's a cupcake, it's supposed to swirl up. So I guess I'll just put it in a bowl. I don't know, I may just like eat them with a spoon out of these cups instead of like regular cupcakes. But uh, like I said, I'm not a baker. So this is a, a try. Um, my roommate's at the gym, so I think I'll wait till he gets back and then I'll film another video of us giving them a taste test. So there's that. Hopefully, hopefully it tastes good. I think it still will taste good. The frosting tastes good. The cupcake, the cake part looked good. So go to the other video to see how they taste, I guess.